Well, um, you mentioned guilty pleasures there, and there are some pretty steamy sex scenes in this book. <laughs> um, I wanted to touch all on the this. books. <laughs> um, is it is that weird for you to write? How how does that happen? Well, I like to read romance, mm -hmm. and that's. I, I like to read romances with steamy sex scenes mm -hmm. and because it's something I like to read, um, it's something I like to write as well. And I know a lot of authors are like, oh gosh, I hate the sex scenes. It's like this, 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 that, 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 you know. You know. But it's like this, 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 and, and I'm like, that. no, to me <laughs> it's it's as much a part of the book as any other part of the book and it's an important part of the book. It's a, a part of people's lives. Exactly, and it, and it needs to be it needs to be fulfilling and it needs to be something where the reader gets that yeah you know at the end of it that's what I was waiting for that I'm I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm well I'm satisfied on a level that doesn't require you know them smoking a cigarette but they're satisfied <laughs> that um, that these two people that they've been rooting for have finally truly found um, a, a mate you know somebody that they're going to be with for the rest of their lives and it's um, it's a uh, it's, it's a big part of it and it's a fun part of it but I have to say when the children were smaller and, and I was working on a laptop, and I have a big screen now, which is, anybody who comes in my office can see what's on the screen, so they have to knock now. It's like, you know, do not come in, because completely take your mind out of the moment. But um, I would slam the laptop down, it's like, no, 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 nothing going on here, <laughs> nothing to see, <laughs> move along. <laughs> well, those are the sex scenes. Um, there's also some pretty violent yes. um, scenes in not only this book, all of your books. How, how do you deal with writing those? Does that affect you mentally? Sometimes it does, yeah. And there have been books where the, the villain was so vile and so terrifying that I didn't want to write the scenes. I mean, it was, it took something. It kind of took something away from me. Um, there was, this book was not so much, because I found this, this killer to be pretty logical. He was a, he had a, he had a, he had a real beef, you know, and he had built, he had a real beef with, you know, he has a beef with the government. And that's actually, you see that in the first scene. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that he's, he's a former soldier and the friends around him, you know, are former soldiers. And they feel like they've been giving a bad turn, you know, by the, by the government. And so they're going to kind of take what's theirs. And Stevie has gotten in his way a few times. And, uh, and he's, you know, he's going he, he yeah. wants to, he wants, he wants her out of his way. And so he's a very logical killer. I didn't find his scenes to be all that terrifying. It's the ones that have no, no logic. I mean, it's, there was one that was, again, in the first book where Clay was, my fourth book. That was actually the most frightening book for me that I wrote. And you know that the killer is a woman from the get-go. You know, from the very first scene, you know the killer is a woman. And I think knowing that readers, and, and maybe me, I expected there to be some softness in this woman, yeah. but she was evil through and through, and there was never any softness. And I found myself backing away from her scenes, you know, and to the point where I would skip them and I would have to come back to them later and write them all at one time when nobody was home mm -hmm. because it just, you know, err. So, it, and then one time I was writing a scene and my mother called, and I, we lost my dad a couple of years ago, so it was right after that. And anytime my mother called, I picked up the phone. And I was writing a, a mean villain scene, you know. Hello, I said, and my mom's like, "What? What? I'm sorry. What? I'm oh, oh, I'm sorry, mom. I was writing a villain scene." <laughs> you never think that you actually get so involved in the scenes while you're writing them, but I guess you would have to. Yeah. yeah. Well, I do, and I kind of throw myself into it, and mm -hmm. and I'll, and uh, my husband will say it's dinner time, and you know I'll kind of drag myself out. Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Well, this happened, and that happened, and 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 I don't know what to do about this," and and and. He looks at me. He still does this after all these books. He goes, you do know that these aren't real people. 